today let's see what is the impact of inheritance on serialization first of all as you can see we are having an employee class here which is extending the person class and implementing serializable interface now in the person class we are having only one variable but here we are not implementing the serializable interface then in the employee class we are having id name password we are having a parameterized constructor which is accepting four arguments and a two string method then in the demo class first of all we are writing the thing that is we are doing serialization and then we are reading the thing that is we are doing deserialization so let's execute the code so here as you can see that when we are doing the deserialization it says gender is empty the reason is the person class was not getting serialized hence gender was never saved into the file so when you are reading it back then also gender is not getting read back so what can be done one option is you go to person and you implement serializable interface but what if you are not allowed to modify the parent class or you don't have access to the parent class then what you can do is you can go to employee class and here you can add two more methods first method is write object so if you see this is the same method which we use when we want to serialize something then within this we are saying first of all invoke the default write object and serialize everything then also serialize the gender which is coming from the person then the second method is read object this is used during the deserialization process while reading the data here also we are saying first of all read everything and then read the value of gender and save it in the gender field now let's again execute the code this time you see when we are doing the deserialization we are getting the value of gender because we were explicitly serializing and deserializing the value of gender which is coming in the parent class do like the video if you learned something new today thank you